everybody, welcome to Retail Designer Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're gonna see is how we can start a new project. So let's go to the software. So basically, we have two kind of Retail Designer. We have Retail Designer and we have Retail Designer Basic. The main difference that we have is the targets that we have inside. Okay, if you take a look, for example, in Retail Designer Basic, the software is free. Okay and Visual Designer, it isn't, okay? But you have a limited edition that allows you to program the HMI STU range, but you cannot um, simulate the HMI, okay? In the limited edition of Visual Designer, okay? On Visual Designer Basic, yes, you can work and simulate everything, but there are some limitations on the real target when you have the Ethernet. So let's open Visual Designer Basic so I can show you this and it's in the other screen okay and there we go so this is the environment that we are going to work with so here the navigator is you have the complete uh, projects that are located in your laptop okay so basically what we can do is to right click over here and create new project in this window you can define the name of the project that you're going to have okay so i'm going to use uh, HMI training okay here you can add description you also have the possibility to add different targets okay more than one target but I'm going to use only one and you also have the possibility to select a password here LTA LTA hint um, LTA okay of course don't use the same as a password then the other thing that you have is the possibility to select which is the target, the HMI, that we're going to have on the field. Okay, and if you take a look here on the Visual Designer Basic, we only have two model range. We have the HMI GXU and the HMI ET, okay, series. So you can select the range and then you select the specific target. I'm going to use this one, the, the one that has Ethernet, so I can show you what I meant. You also have the possibility to set the IP configuration on the internet port, okay? You can configure over here by selecting this or just leave it in blank and then you can change it, okay? And then you have the possibility to audit trade. That basically this is a good feature that uh, allows you to track the interaction of the, of the operator with the HMI, okay? Which is good, so it is no harm to have it. And if you don't enable it, I can show you later how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to present next. And then the other thing that I ask you is for, okay, we have the HMI, which are the devices that is going to be connected to this HMI. And here you can add all the different drivers based on the manufacturer in order to connect with the target. Okay, there is no need to add it just right now. You can do it later. So you just cancel this and then finish. And here is the HMI, okay? So what I meant with the difference of the target, okay, is this one. So I'm going to use VGL Designer. I'm going to open it. It's on the other side. Here, I'm going to create new project, HMI training. Next, next, you have more different HMIs in order to select here HMI GTO next next and do, 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 this is not enabled and finish okay so here on the target when you're using the gel designer the full version um, the devices that we have have this possibility to use data sharing and web server along with this, the web server you have the web gate that basically allows you to replicate the HMI that you have in uh, Internet Explorer browser or in Microsoft Edge. Okay, so you can use to replicate the same behavior, the same thing that you're using on the HMI on your laptop. And you also have the possibility to use the Visual Designer Air that basically it allows you to, um, to see the HMI in your smartphone. Okay, so this is for Visual Designer. But for Visual Designer Basic, if you go to Network, uh, Remote Access, you only have data sharing. If you want the web server, 
it's not enabled okay so that's the disadvantage here so one family to the other okay so um the other thing that i want to show you is this with the audit trade just to have an idea um what it does so basically it creates a category for the system error and system event okay there you have for the ld trade rather than this one that doesn't do anything okay just you have by default one alarm group okay that's the the main difference when you create at the beginning of the project okay so this is just how you can create a project on video designer or video designer basic so um the next one we're going to see more about how to change the hmi definition of the target and how we can proceed with different features of the software so thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one